Hey everyone, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete plugin for Python. Today we're going to do an overview of web scraping with Python. Web scraping is super useful and has many different applications. It could be as simple as extracting pricing information for a product database, or as often the case with machine learning, we'll need a large training data set for a model. So we'll want to collect this data by scraping sources on the web. In both of these examples, web scraping plays a critical component in completing the project. So it's a skill we'll want to have mastered. In this video, you'll learn the pros and cons of the three Python web scraping frameworks you should know, Selenium, Beautiful Soup, and Scrapey. I'll also give you scenarios of when a certain framework is better or more effective than the others. So let's jump in. Beautiful Soup is the first framework we will be going over. It is overall very well-rounded. The first positive is it's well known for being user-friendly. This framework is simple to set up. Beautiful Soup can extract HTML and XML elements from a web page with just a few lines of code. Let's take a look at an example script. This is a simple, beautiful soup script to extract the text between HTML tags. This block of HTML code contains a div element with the string some text inside of its tags. With beautiful soup, we can parse the HTML by calling the beautiful soup constructor with our desired parsing method. And then we can extract the text with parsed underscore html dot find dot text to find the context of the div tag where class is class name. As evident from this code, beautiful soup is easy to quickly learn and then master. This is a great time to mention that Kite's AI code assistant can help you learn web scraping even faster. Kite plugs into your favorite code editor to provide ML powered code completions and it also comes with a desktop app that automatically looks up the docs for any given object your cursor is located on. It's free to use and the download link is in the description. Beautiful Soup does have its drawbacks however. For one, Beautiful Soup requires dependencies. That's why I had to import BS4 instead of Beautiful Soup. Package dependencies can make it complicated to transfer code from other projects and machines. Lastly, it is important to note that Beautiful Soup is a slow web scraper. So for large data sets, there would be noticeable bottlenecks and slowdowns. Selenium was developed to facilitate automated web testing, but has found an off-label use as a web scraper. This makes Selenium especially versatile, since it can be used for automated testing and web scraping at the same time. For example, if the web scraping that you need done is in a web application that will also need to be automatically tested, then Selenium would be a great choice since you are able to get both of these functionalities with a single framework. Another pro is Selenium is good at working with JavaScript and the DOM or document object model. While Beautiful Soup is mainly used for HTML and XML parsing, Selenium can scrape information regarding the JavaScript used on a web page. This can be extremely useful as many websites, especially e-commerce websites, now use JavaScript to dynamically load their content. You can tell this by inspecting a website and looking for script tags. If you see those, the site's likely using JavaScript to load some of the content. One of the cons of Selenium is the same as one of its pros. It's not designed to be a web scraping framework. This means it's not as user friendly, making it a steeper learning curve to climb than beautiful soup. Lastly, Selenium is also slow when we want to scrape large amounts of data. And on that note, let's talk about Scrapey. Unlike Beautiful Soup and Selenium, Scrapey is known for being very fast and efficient. This is because Scrapey is written with Twisted, a popular event-driven networking framework for Python, and that gives Scrapey some asynchronous capabilities. For instance, Scrapey doesn't have to wait for a response when handling multiple requests, so it runs faster right out of the box per se. Speed is a major reason to use Scrapey. Another pro is portability. It was written in Python, and unlike Beautiful Soup, requires no dependencies. Scrapey eases the headache of making sure our web scraper works on all operating systems. There's one big con with Scrapey, and that's its user friendliness. While there's plenty of documentation online to help you out, Scrapey requires some prerequisite knowledge and a lot of setup. If you haven't used Scrapey before, make sure to check out our video tutorial on Scrapey. We walk you through scraping the cat subreddit as a quick start guide to Scrapey. The link is in the description below. So let's summarize the top three Python frameworks for web scraping and when you should or should not use them. If you have a small project or want to get a quick test up without any troubles, then Beautiful Soup is probably the best option to go with. It's just so easy to get started. Selenium is the clear choice for any web scraping projects that will interact with automated testing or if you need to scrape a page that's using JavaScript to load its contents. And if you're doing a large amount of web scraping and expect to generate a lot of data, then Scrapey should be your choice thanks to its built-in efficiency. Thanks for watching this video on the top web scrapers in Python. 
The best way to learn is to implement each of these frameworks in a project. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll have more web scraping content coming your way. From tutorials to more in-depth projects featuring beautiful soup, selenium, and scrapey. Finally, don't forget to check out the Kite AI Autocomplete plugin. Links in the description below.